Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Hey guys, it's Mike and Holly. And it's time to try this month's box of treats. treats. So we need to thank Treats Box for sending this to us. Thank you. If you guys don't know what this is, it's a monthly subscription service where they will send you snacks, candies, and treats from different parts of the world. And last month's was snacks and stuff from Israel. I did not remember that. You didn't? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> like I was okay, just thinking, so, uh... <laughs> if you guys want to try this out after watching the video and you, you like it, there will be a uh, link in the description where you can click the link, take it over to the website, and you can sign up there. Where oh, are we going? Time. Oh, we're going to South Africa. Ooh, nice. Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, that looks pretty. I kind of want to go there. Looks good. Okay, uh, so here is what your box would kind of look like if you got <laughs> this month's or another oh, month. Fun. This month's, okay, it says Saubona from Treats. This month's Treats comes from South Africa, a beautiful and vibrant country located at the southern tip of Africa. South Africa was colonized by the English in 1815, and as a result, many aspects of South African culture are influ influenced by the English. These influences are uniquely reflective in the snacks of South Africa. This is educational as well, guys. <laughs> as you dig into your box this month, you will find a mixture of Britain-influenced treats like the tennis biscuits, a biscuit that is often enjoyed at tea time, light meal eaten between four and six, a British tradition. And I, we kind of celebrate that. <laughs> and cheddars, a type of crumbly cheese-based biscuits originated from Somerset, England. That sounds good. You will also find uniquely South... You will also find uniquely South African snacks like Willard Flings, a light and tasty corn puff, a Tex, and Tex, a South African take on Kit Kats with a bubbly twist and more. In the spirit of the festive season, we hope you share these treats with your loved ones and enjoy. And I'm not even going to say what that is. What? So, Oh my goodness. Ukidla, <laughs> treats team. Ooh, that was a hard one. Okay, so in the box, you do get a card that tells you everything that is in the box. Yes. Describes it. So we're going to start off with the tennis biscuits. Okay. <laughs> That's totally English. Wait, what are they What are they called? Tennis biscuits. Yeah, but what, who's it by? Baker's. Mini biscuit. Why am I not finding it on here? Mini, oh, mini tennis biscuits by Baker's. Mini Tennis of Biscuit by Bakers are an age-honored tea biscuit tradition made with real butter, real coconut, and syrup. They are lightly sweet in taste and true to tradition. They are recommended to be enjoyed with tea. Another thing by Bakers are mini cheddars. I'm guessing mm. these are probably like Cheez-Its to us. Mm. Ch wait, it says cheddars by Jacob. Is that the same? Or is that different? Mm, I don't know. Why am I having such a hard time? I, I bet that is, is that but it? I bet they changed it. Yeah, that's got to be it. Okay. So I don't think it's the uh, exact same product. Cheddar cheese filled oven baked biscuits. They have a granular crumbly texture unlike traditional crackers, which are harder, more brittle, and flaky in texture. Okay, flings. <laughs> By Willard's. <laughs> kind of packaging. A savory Colorful. snack made from maize, which is corn. Flings are light in taste, fluffy in texture, and known to melt in your mouth. When you open a bag, be prepared to finish it, which we mm. probably will oh, after the video. <gasps> Topper. Topper. Well, a lot of baker's stuff. Chocolate cream biscuits by bakers. A lot of biscuits. Because of that tea time, you know. Topper chocolate biscuit cream biscuits by bakers are chocolate flavored cream biscuits. Crunchy in texture with a rich chocolate cream filling. They go great with milk, coffee, or tea. Yeah. Ooh, Nestle. Looks like these are the aerated Me ones. Oh, Milo. By Nestle. Chocolate bar with an inner filling of brownie. Oh my goodness. And caramel. Oh, amazing. Chewy in texture <laughs> with a hint of caramel and rich chocolate coating. We recommend trying it with a glass of fresh cold milk. Oh my goodness, there's some good chocolate in here. Mm. Okay, Wonder Bar. Ooh. By Beacon. Pocket-sized bars made with rich milk chocolate. They are smooth in texture and taste. The Wonder Bar is simple, classic, and absolutely delicious. Mm. Okay. Sancho de Valsa. Why do I think we've had these before? By La <gasps> La uh oh, it's not on the list. You sure? I don't see nope. them. That's not on okay, the well, these are going to be mystery ones. Mystery. <laughs> How about nougat? Surprise. I'll need to taste it first. Oh, honey almond nougat. We need to make sure there's no like, Wrapped in edible there. rice paper. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what is that called? Nougat. 
Oh. Honey Almond Nougat by Massams. Delicious nougats with almonds and honey flavoring. They come individually wrapped in an edible rice paper. It can be eaten with the nougat, make it them, making it, making it them perfect light afternoon snack. That's how it's printed. <laughs> okay, tax. <Tux. laughs> by Nestle, creamy aerated chocolate wafer. It contains an inner filling of wafer and aerated chocolate as one of the most popular chocolate bars in South Africa. Tex is a chocolate bar you can't help but love. I think that one's supposed to be like the Kit Kat. <laughs> it's called a TV, TV bar. bar. By Beacon, chocolate bar with a filling of crunchy ripe puffs encased in smooth milk chocolate. This chocolate bar is airy in texture and has a unique flavor consisting of a blend of coconut, chocolate, and rice puffs. Last thing is Fizzer. Oh, Fizzer Cream Soda by Beacon. A candy that changes its texture based on its temperature. When chilled, it is hard, brittle, and fizzy in texture. When warmed, it is softer, Soft. loses some of its fizz, but is easier to eat and can be more enjoyable. We're going to have ours warm because... Yeah, but I'm going to throw one of them aside and try it that way. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's start off with salty flames. Salty flames. <laughs> so they're just like a puff, like a cheese puff like we would have. Oh, yes. It's mm. corny tasting. Hmm. Really light. I think light, even lighter than a cheese puff. The taste or the texture is that. Well, the texture and the shape is that of a cheese puff, but it tastes better. Well, it's not cheese for one. Is that butter? It's maize, corn. Right, but like, what's the flavor? Probably just salted corn, original flavor. Mm -hmm. So probably just salted, but it's corn flavored. So like a cheese puff without the cheese flavor, instead of the cheese flavor, it's a like corn butter type. Mini cheddar. Really good. Mm -hmm. It's a little round cheddar like kind of ritz, ritzy crackers. Hmm. Cheese it's maybe a little better. Mm hmm. Yeah, they taste like a cheese up. Like the white. But, but maybe. A little bit more natural of a cheese taste than yeah, like those are good. cheese it. These would be good like dipped in like cheese. Does that make sense? Okay. With like the spreadable cheese. <laughs> Tea biscuits. My eye won't stop. Oh. Ooh, these are tiny. Well, not tiny, but they're smaller than I thought. butter, coconut, and syrup, so they're lightly sweet in taste. I was expecting a bigger cracker. Oh. Ooh. Mmm. You can taste the coconut. You know what these taste like? Oh yeah, now I got the coconut. The Girl Scout Samoa cookies, the cracker. It's almost like a Girl Scout Samoa cookie without the chocolate and the caramel. So not like this Samoa cookie. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it reminds me of. Oh, what are those kind of cookies that you like that are kind of just plain? Um, like the kind and of we sandies. usually know they're plain cookies. We usually get them in the British sections. Uh, starts with an S, maybe. Sandies. No. Um, shoot, what is that? What are they called? They're just them. completely plain, like that. Yeah. Plain cookies. No, they're not sandies. They're they're not sugar cookies. They're they're. I feel like I'm on Twenty One Pyramid or whatever that. I don't know what we're talking about. Not this, about. but that. Yeah. You like those? I know. And they're in the like black and red. And I can't think British of, packaging. Yeah, and I can't think of the name of them either. That's what they taste like. Oh, that's gonna oh, bug me. There now. we go. That's gonna bug me. I can't think of the word. Shortbread. Oh. Yes. <laughs> these are a little bigger. Wow, those are big. Wait, what are these? Are these the brownie ones? Uh, chocolate filled. Chocolate cream. Oh, biscuits. rich chocolate cream. Okay. Goes good with coffee or tea. I'm gonna have these with coffee tomorrow. Oh my. Mmm. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm. A lot of this stuff reminds me of like the stuff when we were kids that we had. Like it tastes like old school like that. I want to eat more. Where a lot of stuff was, yeah. <laughs> I'm going <But> <laughs> It's mm. a little, de it's a little dense. Like it's not like a thin cookie. So I don't want to say Oh, now the good stuff. Mouth. Chocolate. Mm. But well, let's, let's try the mystery pink thing. 
Wait, I'm gonna try that first because what if it has strawberry or something in it? We don't know what's in it. I don't want you to eat something that we don't know what's inside. And it's not in English. It's not? Mm-mm. Looks like a bonbon. What? <gasps> There's something in it. A nut, maybe? A nut? Here, shake it. Maybe like a nut. <laughs> a, a, maybe a hazelnut <laughs> or a... That's funny. I'm a little worried now. Well, it's not strawberry, that's for sure. We've had these. Have we? Yeah. Remember, I was like, these look familiar. Well, the shaky thing's still inside there. So it's got this really good, it's got like the chocolate, then like a thin wafer, and it's got this like really good cream that kind of tastes like hazelnut maybe. Hmm. I think. It tastes like hazelnut to me. And it feels like I have to try again just to be sure. That must have been what was shaking around. Well. The cream part must have been loose. Mmm. So yeah, there's not actually anything in the center. No. Oh, the cream. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That was good. Okay, let's go for the Milo. Or Milo. Mm. Which is Nestle. Oh, this is the one that had brownie and caramel. Inner filling of brownie and caramel. Chewy in texture with a hint of caramel and rich chocolate coating. Mmm. They say to try it with milk. Cold milk. So it's a... Are you sharing thicker. that with me or am I getting my own? You can get your own. <laughs> oh, I just broke off a really big piece. <laughs> it's got four spurs. So it's a solid bar. Mm. I don't know if I'm getting the brownie. Or the caramel. Oh, is that what's in it? Brownie and caramel. Like it's got little crunchy, like almost rice bits. Mmm. It's good. I'm not getting anything other than maybe just chocolate. Mm-hmm. I don't taste the caramel. But I it tastes like a dry chocolate, which I guess could make it seem like brownie. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? It's kind of a yeah. dry, not okay. like a melty chocolate. Wonder bar. Mm. It is so good in these boxes. <laughs> okay, I guess before I eat it, you can at least take a look at Okay, so this is just shape. supposed to be like a simple, basic chocolate bar. Nothing inside. Classic is what they call it. Classic. Classic chocolate. Yep. Just chocolate. Mm -hmm. Good chocolate. Smooth milk chocolate. Better chocolate than we have here in our candy bars mm -hmm. in the States. Wax. Okay, Tex. Mm. Which looks like a kind of a thick Kit Kat. That was good. Ooh. <laughs> Smooth. Mm. Big chunky bar. Wafer and aerated chocolate. So y'all like this. Michael likes the aerated chocolates. Oh, the that, middle's aerated. Is that it? Just one big chunk yep. bar? Mm. Oh, yeah. So a combination of an Aero Bar and a Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. Not quite the same taste as a Kit Kat, mm -hmm. but it's got the wafer in it. I like it better than Kit Kat. Mm. Okay, this is what I'm good. looking forward to, the TV Bar. Oh yeah. Rice puffs, crunchy rice puffs encased in smooth milk chocolate. Airy in texture and unique flavor. Boy, it's Blend it's of coconut solid and too. Puffs. Whoa. So it kind of looks like a Musketeers, but this thing's like... It's a brick. A big. Mm. Terry. But very light. Big I was expecting brick. a solid bar because it's heavy. Mm-hmm. It has coconut in it. Like a hint of coconut. Yep. Blend of coconut. Chocolate rice puff. Mm, not bad. Mm. Okay, next is nougat. I really like this one. Which has edible mm. rice paper. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I love nougat. This is good. Mm. Can you eat the paper? It says you can eat the paper. Why would you eat the paper and not unwrap it? Are you, you sure? Eat the paper. Eat the paper. Eat it. It's like that wafer. It's like that. 
Do you remember <laughs> that um, caramel I used to get? No. It was goat cheese. No, it was goat milk caramel. And it came in like a thin wafer. <laughs> it's wrapped in paper. Dude, you gotta just bite it. I did. I already ate a piece of paper. No, I mean like bite the bar. That's, bite, you eat bite, the paper. Bite, That's so weird. Bite it. Bite it. <laughs> bite it. I'm so wrong. <laughs> it's like you're eating the wrapper. Why would they do that? What's the, what's the purpose of that? So it doesn't stick to the wrapper? They might need it to wrap that way in order to make it. Because mm, it doesn't add a flavor. It tastes like paper though. It's your mm. mind. It's your mind. <laughs> my mind is playing tricks on me. Mm. Honey almond new. That's what it is. This reminds me of the nougat bar that I get at Cracker Barrel. Do you remember? Mm, so good. A little good. softer. I love nougat. If you can mm. find one of these, buy it just to mess with people. Because they have to eat the paper. And it just, it's, it is. It tricks your mind. You bite it and it crunch, it's like you're eating. You're eating it is. Paper. You get, it's like you're eating paper, but it does, does dissolve. You don't, it doesn't taste like paper. <laughs> I'll eat the rest oh. of that. That's really good. Good more. We're down to our last thing. Mm. That's it. Mm -hmm. So we got the fizzy. Fizzer. Mm. So this is supposed to be... Mm -hmm. Chewy. Oh, it's... Fizzy. Oh, my goodness. It's chewy, sticky. Mm. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Whoa. So maybe you do need to put it in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. It is... Sticky. I still have nougat. I mean, look at that. What's it taste like? Mm. Green apple, maybe? Mm. I'm not getting other, anything other than taffy. Oh. I don't get I don't get it fizz the fizz. Oh. Hmm. Oh no. Just taffy to me. Kind of hurts your teeth. Creamy soda flavor, cream soda. Mmm. Oh. Oh yeah, it does say cream soda. Mmm. That's yep. a tough, tough one to figure out the flavor. Okay. I, I like it. It's not like I don't like it, but it does. It did hurt my teeth when I bit into it, so that was kind of not cool. Favorites. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I like these. I like mm. everything. Those are yummy. For salty, I'd say these. Although these weren't salty. <gasps> this chocolate uh, biscuit was good. Okay, best best flavor. I'll leave it I'm going to pick the flips. Mm. I like those. Flings. Flings. But for overall, this paper eating thing was <laughs> so That's weird. That's my favorite. I love nougat. And I love, I, I like the idea that you have to eat the paper. All, All the, the chocolates, chocolates were good. good, but nothing like stood out. All the chocolates were really yummy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did. I did really like this one. Ooh. But overall, I, I can see where you can get the, the the tang fizz to it now. I just had some like it gets stuck to your teeth, and you try to push, make your tongue push it off your teeth. You notice when fizzy. your tongue touch, touches it. Yeah. We need to put one in the freezer. Yeah, Although, I got two more. That hurt. But it'll it'll when it's frozen it'll snap. It'll be hurt your teeth. Brittle. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna keep eating. Huh. So if you guys want to try one of these boxes, link is in the description. You can click the link, it'll take you over to the website and you can sign up there and get these weird things like mm. paper that you eat. But everything is delicious. It is, yeah. Like, everything is really good. Like we what, didn't have anything what, that was anything like, that I'd be like, oh, that's the worst. They were all pretty good. It's all stuff I would eat. We're totally gonna obviously. Eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.